Again, you've written an article on this. Uh, take us through John Johnson, three other players the Browns must make big decisions on. Take us through those and, um, you know, kind of the thought process. Oh, well, yeah, that's good. That gives me an opportunity. I mentioned that we were probably going to have to talk about Amari Cooper <laughs> at some point during the show. So uh, I will mention him in this uh, part of it. So the first one I have there is John Johnson three. He's got a $13.5 million cap hit for next season. Anybody on this team, and there are eight of them, that have double-digit millions cap hit for 2023, those players will be looked at as possible candidates for a restructuring, for a cut, or for a trade. And so John Johnson fits right in there. Um, I think there's a chance that they feel like they can get that safety job done, accomplished for less than $13.5 million. So therefore, you go to him, you go to his agent, and you see if uh, you know if they would be willing to do a restructure. Actually, the first thing that you have to do is go to Jim Schwartz and see how he feels about uh, John Johnson three and what he can do in his defense. If he can do way more than what he's done previously, and if he feels he is worth that kind of money, well, then that changes the picture there a little bit too. But he's somebody that will definitely be looked at. He's a June 1st consideration. They can save $9.75 million if they trade or cut him after June 1st or designate him to be traded or cut after June 1st. So he's one to keep an eye on. I put Amari Cooper in there because he falls into the category of June 1st, you could save $20 million by cutting or trading him. He's got a cap hit of $23.77 million. Once again, he is a player that will be looked at. Now, he's amazing, and he's done a fantastic job for the Browns. Nobody wants to be without Amari Cooper next year. If you were, you'd really have to replace him with something of similar value and talent and ability. Uh, but again, when you have that kind of a cap hit, you have to look at that. So what do you do? Do you go to his agent? Do you talk about a, another restructure where you lower that uh, that cap hit? Maybe that's what they'll do. We'll, we'll have to see how that goes. And then um, center Ethan Posick, you know, he is due to be a free agent. He did great. He was the 11th uh, center, according to PFF. And he's somebody that you really want to try to keep around if you can. But his agents know that, he was very valuable this year. He would be the top center on the market and he stands to get paid. And those guys don't have too many opportunities where they can hit the jackpot. So the Browns are going to have to either pay up or they're going to have to let him walk. That's going to be a very difficult decision to have to make. Uh, then the last one that I had on there was uh, was Anthony Walker. I could have picked a number of different guys for, for the last one because there are others and I probably will do a column like that again uh, and come up with like another four guys that they have to make decisions on. But the last one here, uh, Anthony Walker, he's coming off of a, of a difficult surgery. It's a torn quad and those are tough to come back from, but he's a valuable player. If he can be healthy uh, this year, he is somebody that you want on your team. So he's another one that they're going to have to take a look at.